Hello everyone. I'm going to do a TourneyX tutorial here about how to use the TourneyX website. Um, we've got several anglers that are uh, using this for the first time and are still figuring it out. So I figured this would be the easiest way uh, without being there in person to show someone how this works. So this is the, the website. This is the main page. This is where all of the clubs and tournament trails are listed in alphabetical order. So to go to Moyak, I'm just going to come down here and click on our tab, and this is going to bring up all the different Moyak tournaments on the schedule that are remaining. Uh, if you want to look at past tournaments, you just go to the archive, and it's going to show all of our tournaments. Okay, so if you're looking at registering for an event, let's say the September Online Challenge, it's right here. You just click, simply click on that, and it's going to give you a brief description of the tournament itself. Uh, we've already got one person signed up. If you want to sign up for this event, simply register for this tournament. All right. It's going to be a $25 entry fee. The $10 big bass pot is optional if you wish to be a part of that or not. Make sure you're aware of the Tourney X terms of use as well as the MOYAC rules. Simply register for the tournament and it's going to take you now to PayPal in order to pay for everything. So that's how you're going to sign up for a tournament. Now here I'm on my dashboard. This is your hub control center. This is where you can take care of anything you need to, whether you need to submit a fish or remove a fish. Uh, say you accidentally submitted the same fish twice. It's real easy. You just go in here to remove a fish. It's going to ask you what tournament select the tournament that you want and now it's going to ask you which fish do you want to remove find the fish you want to remove and just simply delete it and then it's gone from <clears throat> your score if you want to check your scores go to standings select a tournament that you wish to see the score for and here you go it's going to give everybody scores now you'll notice that some of these are in red X's and some are in green X's. That means the green X means that a fish has been judged and has been approved. Red X means that this, this photo has been submitted, but it has not been judged yet. Now you can also look at anybody's fish you want on here just by simply clicking on it. We'll see. Look at this fish. That's a nice 22 inch bass right there. Then you can clearly see what was submitted. So you can look at any fish you want on here. This is a multi-species tournament. So that's how you're going to check out your standings. Now identifier codes. This code is going to be available the night before the tournament. Simply click on here. Uh, if the tournament identifier is up there's going to be a link here in blue. Click on that and there's your identifier for the tournament. All right. So there's where you find your identifier codes. For the team side of things, if you're going to join one of our team trail events, this is where you're going to take care of that. You're just going to simply select team and you've got the option to join a team or create a team. So if you're signing up and you're going to create the team, click create a team, but I'm not currently signed up for a team tournament so it's not going to let me but that's how you do it if your partner's already created a team then you simply just join a team and then it will list all the teams there and then you can join it go back to our dashboard uh, you can also create your team right here as well or join a team here so it's all right there check-in feature this is where you're going to check in and check out for each event <clears throat> okay so check in that's that you're now checked in for the turn all right so map this is a feature that's really cool that's for attorney x members you know, you don't have to pay for Turning X, but if you want a few extra little perks, this is one of them. This is going to show 
this is where all of my fish that I've caught they've been submitted at so this is a map I'm not going to zoom in too much <laughs> but as you can see these are all the locations where I fished tournaments and submitted fish on Attorney X so that's kind of cool data to look back upon a little perk of being a member of Attorney X the last thing to talk about is how to submit a fish during a tournament and that's right here submit catch <clears throat> you're simply just gonna click submit catch it's gonna ask you what tournament select your tournament add a picture and that's gonna be pulled up from the gallery on your phone um, so all the photographs that you've taken of that fish once you click add pics it's gonna go into your gallery so select the photo you want it will get uploaded there you're gonna come here and you're gonna put in the length it's a 15 inch bass and then you simply submit it and then that's gonna go right into your live well and that fish will immediately show up in these standings it has a red X awaiting to be judged So that's a basic overview of your Tourney X dashboard, how Tourney X operates. Um, if you're looking for KVF events, they're here as well. Uh, you know, Bass Nation. You know, if you're looking in for the Bassmaster stuff, it's all here as well. Anything that uses Tourney X is going to be on here. If you want to do a little finer search, you go into the search window and you can type in. Oh, let's type in Moyak. And then we'll put it in the state of Missouri. Click search. And there it is. It's going to bring up all Moyak Missouri tournaments. And you can fine tune that search any way you want. So there you go. That's turning